What's going on guys, my name is Tom, and this is going to be a video response to X Jaws' uh, video that he uploaded about a week ago, talking about how Free For All was dead. Um, Alright, so he said a lot in that video, I'm not going to lie, he said quite a lot, and um, what I'll say first off is that a lot of it he's right, a lot of it he's also very wrong about. Um, what he basically said was that Free For All is dead. He basically said that Free For All is unplayable in Modern Warfare 3, and that he's not hyped to play it, and that he said that good players cannot succeed in it and he said that if a good player goes in there uh they can't do well um okay so first off there is some element of truth in what he said free for all is i think it's built in incorrectly in this game it's not built in correctly and the reason i say that is because the, the revenge spawns in this in this game mode are just terrible it, it's really horrible and um he also what he also said was that it's never been like as bad as this uh, yes it has it was like this in modern warfare 2 as well modern warfare 2 the, the spawns are all revenge based and a lot of my, a lot of the time, I find myself playing Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, pretty much exactly the same as far as free for is concerned. Um, but funnily enough, I tend to succeed the most on Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 on free for just because there's so much fast-paced action. And the problem with this, guys, is that free for really does cater towards bad players because any noob could stick themselves, or any decent player who's got like a one KD, is capable of going like 30 kills and maybe 17 deaths, and that's not a very good score. But he can still rack up kills very fast just because people are spawning very, very close to him. And, you know, any decent player with an MP7 silence or extended max is going to do well when people are spawning quite close to him. And for that reason, Free Fall is not, is not well, you know, made. It shouldn't be like that. But I think that if people do play it to its advantage, like, whenever I go into Free Fall, I always have my mindset. What, what is the map? Where are the spawns? And how am I going to play it? So, Resistance, I know exactly where I'm going to stay. I know exactly where the spawns are. And I know exactly how I'm going to get this Moab. And that's why I got a Moab. Basically because I know exactly, uh, the spawns are like either side of this um, kind of alleyway with the stairs and stuff, like where this guy spawns right here, down by that house, by the B flag as well. So basically I know exactly where everyone is, and I'm also sound horn like a little bitch, so um, it's quite easy for me. Um, but let's run over Black Ops quickly, so Free Fall on Black Ops was very good and also very bad. Um, the thing about Black Ops is there was no revenge spawn system at all, or there was very rarely any revenge spawn system. It wasn't like the game would automatically put the guy as close to you as possible if you just killed them. It would actually spawn them quite f much further away. Um, the good thing about this was that it kind of slowed the free for all down a bit, and a lot of the time I find myself joining games in session. Like, I join a game on a ray, and there's like two minutes left, and the first guy's only got like eight kills just because he's not a very good player. And that's good because it does cater towards better players. It really means you have to fight for your kills, you really have to work much harder. But what I also find is that I'm pressing the sprint button far too much, and it really does tire up my thumbs a lot. Whereas on Modern Warfare 3, uh, with, with the lack of Marathon Pro or the infinite sprint, it's not really such a problem because people were spawning quite close to you, so I find I need to stop and start quite a lot anyway. But on Black Ops, I'm always using Marathon Pro, running around the entire map trying to find people, and a lot of the time what's frustrating for me is that I can't sound for in Black Ops, so I, there's just everyone sitting in corners. I mean, Black Ops are sitting in corner business with Ghost and Silent Skill is probably the worst. And that's really why I find it so frustrating. So Sam, as far as what you're saying, you are right. Freefall is not kind of correct. They haven't really found the right balance. I mean, I think the best balance they did find was in COD 4 because the maps really catered perfectly to Freefall. I mean, you had it was reasonably open, but it was also, you know, reasonably like the maps were quite small, but they also had kind of space to run around. Like a map like Ambush was perfect for Freefall. I remember playing a few games and I always did well just because I had plenty of space to run around. I could hear them pretty well. Like I couldn't hear them too well. Because there's no sit rep pro as you see me dodging predator missiles. It, this was a crazy bit, by the way. I mean, I was pretty freaking out. This gameplay is quite old, but it's with a gold P90. And since Sam is in the gold P90 in the video where he talks about this, I thought this would be quite a fitting gameplay. Um, that's pretty much it uh, as far as free fall is concerned. Um, so basically, my advice, guys, would just be to know exactly what you're going to do. If you're a good player and you have a strategy in mind, you're going to do well. Like The reason why I find free fall better is because you're, it's you against like seven people. It's, it's difficult. I mean, in TDM, a lot of the times I get really frustrated because I'm just getting team killed by like six different people all, go, all going the same way. And it doesn't really give me any peace like that. Same with ground war, but with free fall it's more like, you know, I can just take take my time. You know, I could always take a breather if I want because I know there's always going to be people fighting each other as well. So in that case, free fall is a lot of tactics going. You have to really know like what move to do. So if you see two guys, should you let one guy die and then take out the other guy? Things like that. I, I like the tactics idea of free fall. That's uh, why it's probably my best game type. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you like free fall, and if you like to see more great gameplays, I've got Mars with like AA12 on free fall, things like that. So if you like that kind of stuff, go subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you later. Peace.